Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Taurus. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we are going to do the astrology for these 12 zodiac signs that I'll be doing. You can look those up on my channel and you'll find the weekly readings and that is where all the zodiac signs are put so this is for Taurus the sun sign so let's see we have going forward and we have flow <laughs> there's a lot of people that are in the flow right now this is beautiful and we have on the bottom of the deck forgiveness so this may be part of being in the flow, being able to have forgiveness for those that have hurt you or you've hurt them, um, wanting forgiveness or giving forgiveness. So you, you don't even have to say it to that person. You can ask spirit about that or talk to spirit about that. Let's see, one flipped over in here. Hmm, got a couple. And I'm only reading in the upright for these. By the way, I might change that later on, but somebody is working on ending something out here and it may be causing some anxiety here. Okay, so, hmm, but they are going forward. There's forgiveness there and they're still in the flow. So let's look at the moon sign and the emotions here. For Taurus, please spirits, can I get a card for Taurus? I'll just fish one out. Let's see, your dreams need a, pract a practical plan. <laughs> Jeez, my mouth is having troubles already. Um, full moon and Taurus, wow, look at that. So you're coming out for your own reading. So your emotions are telling you that you need to have a better plan. Or there needs to be a practical plan. Have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. Nice. So let's get a tarot card with that as well. Okay. There's anxiety here and forgiveness, and this may have something to do with the past. Just saying, because the Six of Cups are here with the cooperation. So, cooperating and team player. Hmm. Having faith in your dreams, having that practical plan. And this might be about closing out a cycle to do with the past here. Somebody might feel the same way as you. Willing to close the cycle out or they already have or you already have. Let's see, what's the rising sign here. This is how other people view you, Taurus. Let's see what comes up for you. Well, that one wants to come. We have the universal midwife birth. I birth fruitful and sacred assignments. Wow. <laughs> you have a purpose here. There is something you're meant to be doing here, Taurus. Let's get one more. The ancient godmother, you may be a teacher here. This may be something that is in your lineage. I am a teacher that leads with self-knowledge. <clears throat> Another assignment, sacred knowledge. The father of the sky, God, wow. I release the weight of the world from my shoulders. Wow, so you're giving it to spirit to take on. Wow. You're in the flow. Well, let's get a card here for you. Wow. Ten of cups. So people see you as being pretty gifted. I'm looking at here. A teacher of some sort. Maybe you have a platform where you 
teach about something here. Could be about spirituality, it could be you could be a tarot reader. Then we have birthing a fruitful and sacred assignment. So you may be getting downloads from spirit here and releasing everything that maybe you've been through. Um because I feel like you've gained some knowledge here. You've got the ten of cups here. That's like a fairy tale ending here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's like things that never happen to people. Um, it's gonna happen to you. Like you're gonna have the wealth, the family, the lifestyle. Um, it's like your all your dreams are going to come true. You're gonna be very blessed. Let's get another card here. Yes, the star. So you might be working on something here. The star with the platform. I don't know why I was getting that. And now this kind of makes sense with the star here. You might be healing too. So whoever comes in for you here, you may end up healing one another. I'm, I'm kind of feeling some type of healing here. Wow, well, that's beautiful. So... Let's look at your luck, your Jupiter. What's your Jupiter here for Taurus, please? For Taurus. Let's grab one. Ah, your heart chakra is opening up. Oh, wow, that's number 11. You may be an ascended master or your ascended masters are guiding someone maybe to you or guiding you to where you need to be let's grab another one the thinking woman <laughs> so another 11 so it's 11 11 wow a lot of green here for that heart chakra <laughs> wow so somebody might be thinking about a woman or a woman is thinking about love there's something, I, I don't feel like you maybe know this person. You might, you may know them maybe as an acquaintance from meeting them through a friend of a friend or something like that. Like you've seen them around before. Maybe not even that. You might not even know this person. This might be somebody you don't even know. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I love that. Hurry up and wait with the patience here. <laughs> Number seven. So, wow, that's reflecting that, uh, reassessing that, um, what would I say for that? Like that knowledge and that spirituality and yeah. Let's get another card here from the tarot. I felt that healing. You may be um, staying at home quite a bit, maybe not getting out much, secluding yourself, um, and doing some healing. You may still be healing or you're hiding out. <laughs> I feel like you know something's coming and you might be a little concerned about it. I feel like you're ready for the love, but it's kind of like um a little bit of fear here oh see i wasn't kidding around that's the two of cups man <laughs> so there you are healing about love but you're also maybe hiding from love uh, i feel like you know you're meant to go out and about i mean you can ask for help and stuff but unless you actually take action towards what you're looking for it won't come in so if you're staying home and going yeah I want love I want love and you're not going out to meet anybody you're not gonna have that love come in for you because you're not going after it you're not putting yourself out there in order to meet this person unless you're expecting them to knock on your door but generally that has to do with somebody from your past so if it's someone from your past you might be waiting but 
you might be waiting for a very long time unless you actually get off your butt and get out the door. Um, that's when you're going to run into whoever you're meant to run into. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that that two of cups came up. Thank you, Spirit, <laughs> for clarifying that. Let's see here. Let's look at your palace, your relationships for Taurus. Ah, make the effort. Didn't I just say that? <laughs> Thank you, Spirit, for confirming what I'm saying. Ah, and you have to trust. Have that faith that it's going to happen. I mean, if you give up on spirit and because it's not happening for you, like I said, you have to make the effort to have it come in for you. So trust that it will come, but you got to do a little bit of work too, right? By putting yourself out there. Okay. Oh, didn't I say something about the past? Oh my goodness. This may not be for everyone, but there is reconciliation here, okay? So this might just be a friend that you're reconciling with. Take it however it resonates <laughs> for you. <laughs> and if you're one of those people that, I'm not going back to the past, then obviously don't take this part of the reading. I mean, we all have messages within readings. Um, some that will resonate and some that don't, so... Just take what does and leave the rest, okay? <laughs> Let's fish out a tarot. <laughs> now, you might be a Capricorn that I'm talking about. We also have the Hermit here, so that's Virgo. And um, we do have the Star. So, but with the, the Devil card, that is Capricorn. So this may have something to do with a Capricorn that's coming in, or you are the Capricorn, but somebody might be trying to come back around to, and I think the star is Aquarius, right? So somebody might be trying to come back around to come back and reconcile with you. So that's going to be up to you what you want to do with that. Ooh, and they want to have that equal give and take with the Six of Pentacles. Wow, oh, that's beautiful. Now, I'm kind of getting that with this Capricorn and Aquarius dynamic, this may be some type of friendship and just kind of re-getting to know each other. Maybe you haven't seen each other for a long time. So... You might have Capricorn and Aquarius. They may have that in their chart. You may have this in your chart if you're the Taurus with the Capricorn and the Aquarius in your chart. This may be your person. Take it however it resonates for you. Wow, that's beautiful. So let's look at your Venus. Your love, how you love. Ooh. So I might be talking to, uh, this says, interested in conversing more, awaiting a message. Like I said, without putting yourself out there, you may be waiting for a long time. But there is a message that arrives, a call, a email, or running into somebody, um, or somebody hovering here that you end up they they make that run into each other happen, okay? They might be watching you, maybe, and waiting for the opportunity to be able to approach you or have a reason to talk to you, okay? So let's grab another one here. Ooh. Now, this may be something that you may already have decided this relationship is over. No second chances here with the Grim Reaper. So you may not even be willing to talk to this person depending on what's happened here. Let's see, one more card to kind of round it out. 
Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. So I kind of feel like you're kind of over it already. <laughs> so on the bottom of the deck, yeah, <laughs> but meeting and conversing <laughs> and savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and a friendship. So maybe it's only going to be a friendship here. There's no second chances, and you've already kind of made your mind up on this, I'm feeling. Especially with that Grim, Grim Reaper coming out. Ooh, okay. Yeah, you... <laughs> okay, you may be um, a business owner or somebody that is... Um, maybe starting out with the channel even or maybe that tarot reading um i'm kind of feeling that so i mean it doesn't have to be but whatever you're doing for work you're going to be very successful at it whatever you're doing maybe you've got a new job or maybe you're thinking about what you've put out um or put on the back burner for a while and something that you've really wanted to do in life but you might take a leap of faith on something here <laughs> when it comes to love. Now, <laughs> Taurus, this may be a woman that comes in for you. This Queen of Pentacles, she may be very um, wealthy or financially successful, okay? Or this may be you, depending on who I'm talking to here. You might be willing to take that leap of faith or you're not going to be a fool. You're not going to have this person, you know, um, fool you. And you may decide that you're focusing on you and your business. So take it how it resonates for you, okay? So let's see what influences you here with your Juno. What's influencing you here? For Taurus, please. <laughs> okay, fork in the road is here. So you may have go for coffee and maybe you're really hitting it off with this person that you've decided forget it, I'm not going back to this person, they've done nothing but lie to me, or what have you, they never spoke the truth once, <laughs> I'm picking up on lies, 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 <laughs> so um, you may not trust them, I'm feeling like you don't trust this person, and that might be why you're not going to be a fool again, and give them another chance, okay, but you get this friendship going, okay? And you might decide to take that leap of faith with this person, okay? Now, you're gonna have to make a decision. Which way are you gonna go, okay? So, <laughs> are you gonna take that leap or what? Okay, so we have by the book here. So I kind of feel like this might be something you might need to take your time on. I'm kind of feeling like that um, temperance angel type of dynamic. Um, staying cool, calm, and collected when it comes to somebody trying to trigger you. I'm kind of feeling that <laughs> yeah, poke, poke, poke. <laughs> so I feel like you're going to be by the book here. You're not going to waver from what your values and what you already feel, but this person might, <laughs> might, you might end up having a lot of fun with this person. You might change your mind down the road. It's hard to say. Let's get one more card here. Hey, <laughs> I can't make it up. <laughs> okay, it's a change in the wind. So, <laughs> and this has to do with um, creativity, uh, growth this may be growth that you've had with this person because I mean you really decide to stay friends with this person maybe not so much where you're best friends but 
things may happen along the way there that change your mind and a change in the wind is here so this may have something to do with some type of growth that you both have from one another and your experience with each other <laughs> yeah clean it up so they may be trying to clean up whatever mess they feel like they may have created here let's see here i want to get a couple of tarot cards with this as well we'll do that one and that one let's see what we get here hmm, okay so this is a king of wands so this is somebody that is yummy to look at <laughs> Take it how it resonates, man or woman, it doesn't matter. They're showing up in their masculine side. It could be a woman as well, being in her masculine side, especially if she is running a business. She may be in that um, more dominant energy, right? So, and there's celebration here with the Three of Cups. So, wow, unless that's a third party, but... Um, Maybe let's get one more card <laughs> and see what it says. Oh, maybe I should have. Can I put it back? <laughs> well, it's coming up as seven of swords. So that shady ass behavior. Okay, I always say that when it comes to this card. So this may be a third party here. So... Be careful on this. So, <laughs> you may have already made up your mind about this person, and you're not going to be that fool. So, take it how it resonates for you, okay? Let's look at your mid heaven here, your career. Let's look at your career. Okay. <laughs> Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path so trust your feelings and your dreams and it may have something to do with books you collect or you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books so perhaps you're a librarian perhaps you write a book maybe you're a writer let's see what's on the bottom of the deck <laughs> So oracle cards, so perhaps you are that tarot reader and have a platform, whatever's coming in for you. You know, I, I'm almost feeling like this is unexpected here that this person wants to celebrate with you. Hmm. Well, in any case, you have the power here to look into things <laughs> with your oracle card. So, and you have a lot of faith when it comes to spirit, I'm feeling, especially if you're connected with oracle cards or tarot cards, because you definitely would have to be connected in order to get correct and concise you're not then you're not a false prophet right so you're somebody that um is is connected through spirit so let's skip <laughs> wow the hierophant so definitely spiritual here it also could mean that there might be marriage on the table here mm. or that this person's married because then we have the five of cups so this person may break your heart here There might still be a third party involved here. And this is going to make you cry. This is, you might really get involved with this person, with this reconciliation here. So be careful. Let's get one more card here. Yeah, there's an ending. There's the death card. So an ending comes with this. So this is your warning ahead of time that it may maybe not take this person back stick to your guns okay let's look at what your angels ancestors and spirit guides that are all passed over want to say to you so they have a message what is the message for taurus 
<laughs> New beginning. So there is somebody coming in for you here. So maybe the getting rid of the old and so the new can come in. Shape shifting with the clouds. So maybe lay down on the ground and take in to see what shapes come up in the clouds. Um, I also feel like sometimes with shape shifting you can people can really um, change their energy depending on who they're around and kind of mesh in with people's energy and whatever they are you become that you know um, or you're very connected with your emotions and you can really pick up on people's emotions shape-shifting hmm the clouds Let's do one more here for Taurus. <laughs> Lightning, bam, <laughs> boom, baby. This reminds me of the tower. This is your power that you have here to, I feel like you have the, the say so on what way you wanna go. You have the power to decide, okay? Yeah, there's a wake-up call here, the t tsunami here after the lightning. So this is going to be some life-changing shit that's going to go down here. Wow. <laughs> Holy. Okay, let's get a couple of tarot here. Okay, yeah, there's a king of cups here. So it's definitely somebody coming in for you. And with the King of Cups, that's somebody that's kind of um, sensitive and understanding, kind of emotionally balanced, you know, that compassion, and they're generous with their time and their love. Their love language is kind of touchy-feely, kind of that love language of pouring into you, right? Let's see what else we got here. <laughs> Four of Wands. What? <laughs> so let's just say that this is about family or, I mean, it could be about moving in with somebody. It could mean a um, proposal. It could be, it's all about happy home, um, happy family, happy life happy wife, happy husband kind of energy here with this king of cups. Wow. <laughs> Unreal. Okay, let's look at your fortune before we go into your north node. So let's look at the fortune, your wealth here, the butterfly cards. What's your fortune and your wealth for Taurus? Ooh, okay, and this one looks like it wants to come, and we've got one more. That one. <laughs> and the bottom of the deck. Oh, okay, so end of an era here. I feel like whatever this ending is here, this has been a long time coming for you. I feel like this end of an era is something that maybe you really needed to pass some test here you needed to pick the right road that card of shady ass behavior is coming in for me here about this king of wands like you may have already ended this out you've already may have already gone through where there's no second chances no no way no how forget it <laughs> all right so what we have okay we have spiritually grow, a spiritual growth here, so that's beautiful. And we have adult children, so you may be the adult children, or um, you may have adult children, take it how it resonates for you, and hobbies. So I kind of feel like you might end up doing some hobbies with your children, or your grandchildren, Take it however that it works for you, right? Wow. Let's do some tarot cards with this for wealth. Taurus, <laughs> we got the Wheel of Fortune here. <laughs> 
this is good luck coming in for you this the wheel of fortune is like the luck the faith the unexpected coming in something that you are not going to even imagine that is so awesome that's coming in for you wow let's go one more card haha <laughs> somebody might be watching you with the page of swords they might be watching your social media they might be watching your tarot card readings if that's what you're doing because oracle cards are here for your mid heaven whether you've done that yet or you're starting it or you're thinking about starting it maybe you're taking a course online um wow you might end up writing a book about your experiences or something along the lines of writing some type of book let's look at your north node Taurus what's your north node in your current life this is what you're doing right now in your current life for your north node so don't let your past hold you back so that's kind of what I'm feeling right now wait for the new wait for the new wait for the new yeah false person so right now you may be dealing with this false person this friend maybe you just decided not to talk to them at all you're not going to play the fool um you know their shady ass behavior maybe you're cleaning things up for yourself you're playing by the book you're not going to waver from what spirit's telling you uh-huh unexpected income so by leaving the past behind in this false person I feel like you're going to get a blessing you're already at the nine here and that's fulfillment that's wish fulfillment your wish is coming true here let's get one more yeah imprisonment you may be married to this person the marriage card is here they may have wanted to wanted to marry you but they had somebody on the side right they may want to celebrate all the time and this shady ass behavior might be to drain your bank account I feel like there's some type of darkness to this person I'm, I'm almost feeling like there's um like they don't want you to do well with the imprisonment there that false person and it might have to do with your income because you're showing up as the queen of pentacles and that is somebody that's got that material success right yeah toil and labor having to do with whatever you do for work and they may not like that you are a tarot reader maybe they don't believe in it they're a skeptic or they don't trust it maybe they're religious oh one more here yeah I feel like you're on that pathway here because that is coming up for you here you're already on your journey what's on the bottom of the deck hmm bad health this person I'm kind of feeling like that might be the way they try to weasel back into your life is with this bad health card oh, I'm sick can you come and help me or but you have this king of cups here maybe they haven't come in yet you might have to go and make that effort to go and find this person I mean you're not going to <laughs> Like whoever spirit has for you, you'll have and it'll be that connection. But by you trying to take over and have control over the situation, that will just prolong things. So just let things be in the flow. If it happens, it happens. Okay. Don't try to make it happen. Right. 
But you do need to go out and about in your community or put yourself out there. It might be online that you talk to this person. You might have been catfished before, so you may not want to have anything to do with anybody online. You might want to meet people face to face. Maybe you're old school like me. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got for tarot? Yeah, have the courage, okay? To make sure that you follow your heart. If this person that's shady doesn't do it for you, I kind of feel like any doubts that you might have, just wait for the new person to come in. Yeah, you're going to walk away. And I feel like you're going to walk away from this false person that's going to try to trick you about this bad health here. You're on the pathway. Whoever this person is, this false person here, This King of Cups may not be your person either. This might be the false person who's wanting your income. They may have been in jail. Maybe they end up going to jail. You're walking away from this person as well. Look at that. <laughs> oh, your Emperor is coming in after that so you might have to walk away from two people here before your emperor comes in now you may have already done that you may have already said hell to the no on the first person and maybe another person's tried texting you or messaging you messaging you and you're like yeah no whatever i'm not happening and now that Emperor might be the next person to come in for you. Depends on where you are on this timeline. I'm going to get one card here. Maybe two. We're going to do two here. For Spirit's advice, let's look what's on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Queen of Wands. Okay, so this Emperor sees you as somebody that's very um confident determined and self-assured like you you know who you are you know what you want okay and you're very beautiful with the wands there okay so that's how they're seeing you so you may have to walk away from a couple people here before your emperor comes in maybe you have already maybe Maybe you've already let one person know that you're not going back and there might be someone else that's going to come in and they're going to be like, yeah, no, that's not my person. So this, it's going to be kind of like an undeniable kind of feeling. I'm, you know, that undeniable, um, with your emperor, you're going to know who this person is. Okay. And that's that Aries. Um, stability, uh, power, wealth. I um, a leader, a leader, somebody that's all four of the kings in the upright, right? So I'm just gonna get whatever messages spirit wants to tell you, what advice they want to tell you here. Their angels, ancestors, or spirit guides, whatever messages you're meant to have here. All is well. Okay. Archangel Jamel, everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and this one also came out. Patience again. Hurry up and wait. <laughs> I know that's how some of you are feeling, you know, like... It's still been a long time coming, right? So Archangel Jophiel, 
Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. <laughs> so, yeah, you maybe you've been waiting for a long time. I don't feel like this is going to be too much longer before this person comes in for you, depending on where you are, whether it's the first, second, or your person person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's get one more here. Career transition. Wow. So you may transition to a higher level in your career, I'm kind of feeling. Maybe you end up, if, if you are the one with the platform, with the oracle cards that you're maybe doing online, you might end up hitting uh, far higher for viewers or subscribers or whatever it is that it just keeps going up and maybe you hit a milestone wow archangel Jamel, your life purpose is triggering a blessing a blessed career change so perhaps you are going to level up to a new part maybe at the books now maybe you're gonna write books <laughs> or um maybe become a spiritual leader of some sort i mean there's so many different avenues you can go when it comes to spirituality so that teacher is coming up for me you you're going to teach something here wow and we have courage on the bottom of the deck. So you're going to have to have courage to do this transition in your career. So what I'm kind of feeling is perhaps Lost Souls is coming up for me. Um, perhaps you are actually quite psychic. Maybe you get answers from your ancestors. Maybe you're clear audience or clairvoyant I feel like you're going to uh, possibly even with the police vehicle going by here I don't know if you can hear it but I almost feel like you might help the police bring home lost souls maybe people that have been murdered or taken or body recovering or lost souls lost souls Something along those lines. So you may pick up on some major gifts here that you end up doing a major life purpose here and you may transition from maybe doing cards online, maybe you become a medium or a psychic of some sort. You have gifts here and blessings. But you have to have the courage to keep moving forward with it. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> we have the moon and the sun, two major arcana, arcanas, or arcanas, whatever you want to say. And with the sun, that's your abundance. This is the happiest card that there is in the deck. This has to do with all areas of your life. So pleasure, sex, um, success uh yeah whatever it means for you and with the moon this could be something that's surfacing that i feel like that's surfacing um and that might be your gifts things are going to come in for you like you're going to kind of i kind of feel like how do i put that um I, I don't feel like you're going to be insecure about this. I kind of feel like, and I don't feel like you think it's an illusion. I feel like you believe in yourself enough that you know what this is. You may have been had some fear before, but I feel like you're really going to embrace these gifts. There's going to be some, the light from the dark. This is... I keep still getting lost souls, lost souls. And that may be what end up doing for this career change. 
with the light and the dark. Something comes to light about what may have been hidden. Something surfacing. Wow, that's so, wow, that's so beautiful. I mean, that what a, that's quite the um, career. Uh, very, I would imagine very uh, fulfilling to be able to help families recover people that have been lost to them or that they may not know where they are or what happened to them. Wow, this has been a powerful reading, Taurus. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm getting goosebumps and everything. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's what I have for you, Taurus. Like, if this resonates for you, um, I'm not sure it's going to resonate for everybody, but take what does and leave the rest, right? Don't forget to give me that thumbs up, like, like, share, and subscribe, and become part of the Oracle Tribe, the divine one at that, so... And if you want to donate, which I do want to take the time right now just to say thank you for all the donations. I have put in an order for some more cards. Um, I was quite surprised um, on how many people actually donated to the channel. And I love you all for your support, taking the time to watch the videos. And of course for donating as well, which helps me bring you more things for us to talk about. So, <laughs> all right, you guys, take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time. All right, later.